Unless it's under pressure, water always flows downhill. That's how sewer lines work. Wastewater flows down pipes to the lowest point in the system. That's typically where sewage treatment plants are located. But what happens when a pipe in that system gets blocked or flooded? It can't drain. So the wastewater backs up. It can even come back up through the drain and into the building it came from. And that can cause a real mess. But there's a simple and inexpensive way to keep that from happening. It's called a backwater valve or a backflow preventer. That valve is installed on the building's sewer line. Inside it, there's a flapper that gets pushed shut by the water pressure if the water backs up. That keeps the building from flooding with raw sewage. Builders are encouraged to install these backwater valves on new homes, particularly where the terrain could make them subject to flooding. And owners of older homes in flood-prone areas are advised to install them as well. But they need to be installed correctly, and they also need to be accessible to the homeowner because they have to be maintained. Joe Levins is the manager of field operations for Cranberry Township Sewer and Water Division. This is a backwater valve, and there are, this is one of several different designs that are out on the market today. But they all use the same principle, a mechanical flap used to block the flow. The problem is, over time, the flapper may leak, or there may be an obstruction leaving the flapper open. From time to time, you may need to check the operation of the flapper valve, just as you would a battery in a smoke detector. Let me show you how. Remove the lid. Look inside, move the flapper valve, make sure it moves easily and it's not came out of its seat. Check the gasket material on the flapper as well as on the lid and replace whatever is worn. Then just reattach the cover and you're good for another year. Here's what one looks like installed in your home. You can easily remove the lid by turning it counterclockwise. Check the gasket in the lid, check the flapper, Check the gasket on the flap. Check the seat, make sure there's no debris. Replace any parts that may need to be worn and reinstall. For a free inspection, a free repair kit, or for replacement of a damaged device, please contact me, Joseph Levins, at Cranberry Township. Soar and Water Division, 724-776-4806, extension 1515. Thank you.